What's up, guys? Uh, my name is JSP Talks Bears, and today I am going to be predicting the entire. Now that I think our our 53 man roster is pretty set, I don't know if Ryan Poles is going to make any moves or m many big moves anymore throughout this uh, the next week. We play in one week from today. Today is Sunday. We play in seven days. I'm fucking pumped. Um, so anyway, I don't think Ryan Poles is going to make any or big moves uh, in the next seven days. So I'm going to predict the entire record, and I'm going to go from game to game, and we're going to predict the entire Chicago Bears record right now. So here we go. We have an NFL predictor website where we're doing. Um, so our first game. Sunday at home against the 49ers. Last time we lost them at home, um, but Justin Fields played pretty good against them. So I am going to go with the Bears. I'm going with the Bears, okay? I'm going with them. It's happening. I'm going with the Bears. They're going to win this game. All right. Week two, we got the Bears at Lambeau Field. Against the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, he has no one to throw to. I'm hoping our cornerbacks and our, our new safeties, Jaquan Brisker, Kyler Gordon, Jalen Johnson, Eddie Jackson, and all of them, I'm hoping that they can lock up these no-named bums that Aaron Rodgers is throwing to. Uh, you got Alan Lazard, you got like Amari Rodgers... You got Christian Watson. I'm pretty sure he went to the Packers. Um, yeah, we got they got bums, man. But I'm still going with the Packers. Until the Bears can prove to me that they can beat the Packers, I'm always going to go with the Packers. Always. They, they need to prove to me they can beat the Packers consistently, not just once, and then never beat them again. You need to start beating them consistently. So I'm going with the Packers. Uh, and then next up, week three, we got the Texans at the Bears. Soldier Field. Week three. I'm going with the Bears, man. I, I, I just, I don't understand where all this hate's coming from, from the, uh, the national media, where we're going to be one of the worst teams in the league, when I believe our team can beat those bad teams. Like, the Texans are down there with us. But the thing is, is, I think we have more talent than them. So we beat the, uh, the Texans week three. It's going to happen. It should happen, at least. Same thing with the next one. The Giants are a bad team. We are in New York that day. Um, week four, I am going with the Bears. That should be an easy matchup. Again, I think we have the more talented quarterback. We have the more talented defense. We have the more talented... I'm going to say receivers. Don't hate me for that. I'm going to say receivers. Um, so we should win that game. Bears at Minnesota. Sunday. Um, I'm going with I'm going with the, the Vikings. I think they're gonna be good this year, unfortunately. Um, who knows? We could shock a lot of people this year and go and get about 10 wins. Yes, that's that's not a shit ton. That's not like Super Bowl caliber wins, but that would shock a lot of people if we got even close to 10 wins. So by week five, I think I'll know if our offense is good or not, or at least competent. And uh, maybe I can change my mind on the Vikings game, but right now I'm going with the Vikings. This is another one. Thursday night football. This Why is this a Thursday night game? <laughs> Washington at Soldier Field, um, another one where I'm going with the Bears. I'm going with the Bears. I'm doing it. I, I simply think we're the better team. Yeah, you got Carson Wentz. Um, you got Scary Terry, but yeah, you also got Carson Wentz. I'm going with the Bears. I, I just, again, I think we have the most talent. We have more talent than them. We have younger players. I don't know if that's 100% true, but we have. I think, I think we're actually at the youngest roster in the league. We have the younger players. Are the Bears are going to be hungry this year. The Matt Eberflus regime just is more like they just seem like they want to play football. The past three years with Matt Nagy, 
most of the players down there in, in Chicago, I don't live in Chicago, so I, I, I guess up there. I live in Colorado. Wh- whatever. Most of the players the past three years just did not look like they wanted to be on the field. I don't know what it was. They just didn't seem motivated. So um, I just think that the Bears are going to win more games this year, more than people think, because they're motivated to win. So, And I think that's how you win football games. Just because you think you're better doesn't mean you're going to win football games. So next up, I think that's another Monday night football game. Um, Bears at... Gillette Field, or Gillette, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I'm going with the Patriots. I'm going with the Patriots. This is another 50-50 game. This is a 50-50 game to me. Either one could win. The Patriots could surprise us and like be, beat the shit out of us. I doubt it. But we could also beat the shit out of the Patriots. Who knows? This is another one where I just, I don't know. This is a 50-50 one, so I, but I'm going to go with the Patriots for now. Again, by week seven, I think we'll know how our offense is in this, in this league. So maybe I can change my mind on this one. Again, Cowboys, another one I think we could win. I think we can win this one, but for right now, since I don't know what our offense is going to look like. Same with our defense. I don't know what our defense is going to look like as a 4-3 defense with Matt Eberflus. I think they're going to be good. But I haven't seen anything yet. So right now, right now, before the season starts, I am picking the Cowboys. Um, Another one that I am picking is the Dolphins. This is either going to be a really close game or a really not close game on the Dolphins' side. Uh, They could either... It could be really close, or they're going to fucking destroy us. I don't think we're, there's any way we're going to destroy them. So, um, it could, it's, like, it's like 50-50 slash they could destroy us. That doesn't really make any sense. But right now, again, right now, I'm going with the Dolphins. Week 10, we got the Lions at Soldier Field. Um, they don't play very good at Soldier Field. I'm going with the Bears on this one. That's an easy dub. That's an easy dub. Um, next one... The Falcons, I, I don't know where people are getting that we have the least talent on any other team. The Falcons by far, by far, have the least amount of talent on their team. It's not even close. They're going to be... That, they're, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go for, as far as saying they're going to be the worst team in the league, but they're definitely going to be down there. They're probably bottom two, three team. Uh, we're probably bottom ten. Um, unless the Bears prove me wrong, and I really want them to. So I'm going with the Bears on this one because the Falcons are going to be terrible this year. Man, they got Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter. Like, what? What? Marcus Mariota could be good, but, I mean, he's already showed us what he can do. He's pretty much like a veteran. Bears versus Jets in New York. I will be at this game. I am going to be at this game, and I can't wait. I am going on vacation to New York with my girlfriend uh, to visit her family. and. During the Thanksgiving weekend, I don't know if it's actually on Thanksgiving, but it's Thanksgiving weekend. I am going to this game, and I can't wait. And I am going with the Bears. The Bears will win this game. But the thing is, is when I'm ever when I'm at a game, they play like shit. So, again, I think the Bears, this is kind of 50-50. The Jets got better over the offseason, or at least I think we did. Or at least I think they did. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going with the Bears. The Bears um, are the better team. At least I think they are. Um, I don't know how their rookies are going to play, the Jets. So um, I haven't been paying attention to the Jets. But right now, I think the Bears are the better team. So I'm going to go with the Bears, week 12. Week 13, we got Packers coming in back into Soldier Field after the last time Aaron Rodgers said the I own you shit. Um, He's fucking crazy. Um, he's immunized, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, like I said earlier, uh, uh, since week two, I am always, always going to go with the Packers until you tell me, until you show me that you can beat the Packers, not only just once, consistently, I will always go with the Packers because we play like shit against the Packers, and also everything goes their way. 
everything every time we play the packers everything goes so right for them everything goes so wrong for us if that makes any sense if you're a bears fan that makes sense if, if you're a packers fan listening to this it doesn't make sense because you don't fucking see it the refs are always on the packers side the refs are always against the bears whenever we play together um I don't know what happens, but, but that one game about four years ago when, when Aaron Rodgers came back at halftime and won him the game, that's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Everything to, for you to come back from that game, everything went right. Everything went your way, and, and it was the opposite for us. Everything didn't go our way. So you guys are the luckiest motherfuckers when we play you because... All the luck is on your side, and none of the luck is on our side. That's what happens when we play the Packers. Anyway, moving on. Eagles at Soldier Field after the bye week. We have our bye week a little late, um, but anyway, we recharged. Eagles at Soldier Field. We got three home games in a row. Wow. Um, I'm going with the Eagles. Eagles are going to be a better team. They, I think they just are. Unless, um, like my prediction, when Jalen Hurts got drafted, I thought he was going to suck. So this is really the last straw for Jalen Hurts, um, at least in my opinion. Same with Tua. Um, those two quarterbacks are those are, need to prove something this year because they have all the weapons in the world now, and all you need to do is just go out there and play good. Um, so I'm going to go with the Eagles. I think Jalen Hurts is going to have a bounce back year. I mean, he played good last year, but... Uh, now you got A.J. Brown, you got Devontae Smith, you got Dallas Goddard, you got all these weapons. You better prove something, man. You better prove something. You better beat the bad teams like us. You better beat the Bears. Or uh, I'm going to smack you for not taking the Bears right here. Um, anyway, Bills, Bears, Bills. Give me Bills. It's not even, this, this is going to be an embarrassment. It's going to be not even close. The Bills, I got them winning the Super Bowl this year, just like a lot of other people. Um, they're going to come into Soldier Field and just smack us on the wrist and just go back home. Like, this is an easy dub for them late in the season. Um, Bears at uh, Detroit. Um, what, did I, what did I take before? I'm going to go with the Lions beating us here. I'm going to go with the Lions beating us here. They're, uh, we're not going to sweep them this year, unfortunately. I don't think so, at least. Um, I'm going to go with the Lions here. And then, for some reason, the Vikings can't play against us and I, I i think they're already going to be in the playoffs so they're going to sit their starters so i'm going to go with the bears here i'm going to go with the bears week 18 at soldier field unless they're fighting for a playoff spot the vikings will probably win this but right now i think they're going to be in the playoffs already so they're going to sit their starters week 18 and i'm going to go with the bears so i have our record at eight and nine which is pretty good for justin field's second year matt ibufus's first year it's development it's growing it's it's get, it was better it's better than six and eleven last year that's what i'm trying to get at if we end the year with this record i will be happy i will be happy with this record because it's showing growth it's showing development if justin field throws for i don't know i'm going to say 25 to 30 touchdown passes and maybe 10 interceptions 15 interceptions if he throws for that i am super happy maybe three four thousand yards maybe a little bit less than that who knows i will be super happy if we end like this and if we even if we get more than that i'll be happy as long as i think we get seven wins i'll be happy seven or more is what i'll be happy with um because this one's honestly a toss-up I would say it's 60% like a 60% possibility win versus 40% for us. This one's like a 10 90 win, percent win. This is like a there's no chance the Texans win. This should not be there should not be a, a chance they win. Um they're going to win. This is like 70 30% they win. This is like 50 50. Honestly, closer than you think. Could be closer than you think. Could be closer than you think. This should not be close at all. This should not be close at all. Eh, fuck you. This is... It could be close. You never know. This is not going to be close at all. 
could be close and then could be close so i mean we have a bunch of like 50 50 games up in the air um but right now i got our record at eight and nine and i'm happy with it we go three and five on away we got five and four home um again we got a pretty easy schedule so some of these we could have more than eight eight wins but right now i'm happy with it so that's my record prediction for right now before the season it could change mid-season but we'll have to see so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one see ya